Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to work on something. Uh, it's it's a bit similar to my previous video I have done on how to install the energy and lighting analysis plugins in Revit. So just for a bit of context, um, Revit used to have these um, lighting and solar energy analyses uh, already installed in uh, from 2020, I would say, or they would uh, publish some kind of plugins uh, which was downloadable from Insight. Um, I have made a full video on how to get these um, tools, energy tools, um, in my other video. I will link that in the description of this video over here. So um, now, today, what I'm going to do is something again, um, as usual, I have faced some issues. I tried to solve it I, and I solved it. I was successful in that and I wanted to just show you guys how to do that. So um, I this is this is a Revit uh, 2023 version I'm working on. I recently just deleted my uh, Revit 2022 because I didn't need that. I just need one uh, version. But um, what I was um, noticing um, that the as before, like I, I use Revit since 2015 and whenever we would um, install any kind of Revit, the content library, that means all the furnitures and etc. That library would be installed with Revit. But interestingly, what I have noticed it is in 2022 and 23 versions, the material library was not installed with the software. So um, when I would like open a component, for example, and I would go to load family, what it would show me is just these two. OK, right now I have UK US. That's what I'm going to show you how to uh, install. But I would just get these two root analysis and structural precast. It's in both of my uh, it, it was both of my um, versions. OK, so it was just this over here and structural precast. Uh, I'm not sure if it's um, happening with everyone, but it's my own um, experience. Um, I would not just get these uh, family library, which was before installed within the Revit. OK, so all these furnitures I used to use all the time. Um, so I just um, found that we can uh, install it separately um, along with uh, the analyzing uh, tools for plugins over here with the content manager um, so i will just show you quickly over here so um, if you haven't seen my previous video again this is the manage autodesk manage.autodesk.com uh, this is something the insight uh, autodesk insight um, reader directs you to if you you have to have a proper license I have an educational license um, so it's going to work for both education and business over here so I go to custom install um, as you can see over here I have done uh, quite a few uh, this was my previous um, uh, previous video where I showed I downloaded the energy and lighting so I'm sorry lighting and solar plugin this was for my 2023 I did the same way I just did it uh, yesterday uh, this too uh, I was dealing with it uh, yesterday which was the content library uh, I wasn't sure what was going on um, so uh, this I haven't installed I just installed this one and this is something else. So I will just show you over here. So uh, when you go to your uh, manage.autodesk.com, this is the home page over here. And you can go to custom install over here. And you can go to create new. It's pretty much the same, um, same procedure since before. I, and I am choosing Revit over here because I want to download Revit extensions. Um, I just have the, so you can select your version from here. Uh, I have this one, so I, I didn't do any kind of update or hotfix. So I just, I will just select this over here. Um, 
you have so in extensions you have the lighting and solar which i showed in my other video but what i am interested in is content libraries so if you go to content you can get um, a number of content libraries if you can see over here so uh, what i have done is these two i have downloaded so i just selected this one and uh, I went first and I just selected next. Uh, I will show you that in a minute. But um, as you can see, this is saying that it's containing UK and US family libraries, both Imperial and Matric. The description is quite difficult over here. And you have all these different language family uh, libraries and also uh, different country libraries in an English language. So I, I don't need much in Revit, so I did not download all these, but if you want, if it's necessary for you, you can, because there is surely some differences in libraries. Uh, I will just show you in a minute uh, what are the differences in UK and US library. So yeah, this is the place where, and I, why I struggled is, this is the content library, and when I go to customization, um, it gives me over here um, these ones. So UK, USA essential content. Uh, so so it's kind of like repeating. Okay. So what I did was the one you, you see in my packages, it's, it's just written content. So I have unticked all of these and I just kept the US and UK. Um, because this, these are the most comfortable ones, I feel. Um, I, I feel like those have very versatile things and just the one I need. I just did this and I did, let's say, next. Um, I just gave a name, a package name that was content for me. And then I you say agree and then you download it. Okay, so... Um, and also there was some issue yesterday, which was, it was not downloading for me, but then when I was going to, uh, when I went to custom install, it was already over here. So it did not download in my, um, in my soft, in my computer, but it was over here. Uh, and there were multiples, I, so I had to delete some of them. And um, even this one, yesterday it was not downloading in my system. So I did it just today, just before making this video. I just clicked over here, download. So I uh, the, the reason why I am explaining this is because I get a lot of um, queries. I have got, I think, uh, 10 queries like that. Uh, they, they are the, the users or the persons who reached out to me. First of all, thank you very much that you have reached out to me. And they all had this one common problem, which was they were not able to uh, install these plugins or these uh, extensions, even though they have educational license so i always recommend you please um wait for a few minutes sometimes the soft uh, website gets laggy always check this custom install over here if it's piled up if it does if your um extension did not download please check over here and um Sometimes just close that, you know, log out from there, maybe open this in some other uh, browser and just check it because yesterday this thing would not um, download at all. And even uh, when I would go to the create new and I would go over here in next, let's just for an example, I will just show you. So yesterday, what uh, another problem which I faced was when I would give a name, for example, content, and um, I would just say in download, it would just come a error message that the, the name already exists. So you cannot make it. So it was frustrating for me. But when I would go to custom install, I saw all of those were piled up over here. So this is again another lesson for me 
and I think it would be a good lesson for others as well. So don't panic. Uh, just check over here and if there is anything you could reach out to me. I will help um, as much as I know. Uh, and also you can, um, have the, the best option over here is to just go to Autodesk Help Text. So I have installed this. I did not install this one because I think I don't need it anymore. Maybe I will delete it. Um, so let me show you so this is one example i was just working on so let me show you what are there in these uh, libraries i have been using this again as i said uh, from 26 uh, 2015 so i am pretty much comfortable so what these ones have so um usually i remember um in the previous rivets like 2015, 16, 17, they would have the US one already installed. So that, let's just say US and I would go to, um, let's say Windows. And there are different kinds of Windows. Okay, um, there are a lot of um, modification and there are a lot of improvements that have happened um, at that time in 2016 or 15 these were not there for especially um, these ones were not there in the US library so I can see much much better um, improvements over here okay and these the trims and patterns these are some new uh, uh, sort of library we I have seen it's it's amazing because this is something new the moldings and everything over here um, if I have to go to the same thing um, for you, you see over here so I yeah so um, I will just come back to this later so if you, if you see in this over here English Imperial um, I will just go to UK one and I will just go to Windows and you see the different it, it there is a difference in window pattern so these ones are typically UK households residential or dwellings they have these kind of arch windows so if you see there is a huge difference in the library UK and USA so um, okay, I, just, I just click because I don't have a wall so um, it's it's useless I'm just going to go back and yeah so you can see clearly why I have downloaded both UK and USA so again if I go to my libraries over here and you see all these these are pre uh, installed and this English was also pre installed all of them have the same two um, two uh, things okay in all um, in all um, languages so the only time which I got was English when I downloaded the UK and US and also it downloaded this one um, just let me check if it's the yeah this is the USA one and the nested families so yeah so this is something useful um, I highly recommend if you guys are working in mostly architectural firms or architecture fields to download the UK library that is really versatile I mean both of them are amazing but UK library have some different um, you know it gives you a variety of uh, things like uh, if I go to seating um, there is some difference. It's it's all the same. I'm more interested in the um, window pattern and the doors, window doors and etc. I feel I ha as much as I know. I remember that some of the furnitures were also a bit different for UK and USA. I might be wrong, but the windows and doors are definitely different in both. Um, if you can see in UK has more variety of doors whereas if I am going to the US doors uh, 
it's it's different again okay it's different both of them are really amazing and uh, yeah i think these details make an architectural model very really helpful over here um so once again um I was just uh, I'm, I was just showing you about this furniture. I was so happy to just get back to this, and um, once again, uh, you just have to go to custom install and install them. There is other stuffs that you can do from here. Um, so yeah, always just uh, keep in touch over here wherever you don't need. So um. The other thing I noticed is before, whenever we didn't have any library, we would just go to our control panel and then um, repair or, you know, update one Revit. But now it's not the same anymore. We just have to go to the content manager and uh, just do that. So, yeah. And that's it over here um i hope this video was really helpful to you and i will be back with more instructional videos and help you all and see you later bye